continue to uphold our humanitarian ideals. But illegal immigration is simply spiraling out of control and threatening public safety and national security. We face a crisis, a real, serious, and sustained crisis at our borders. We have tens of thousands of illegal aliens arriving at our doorstep every month. We have drugs, criminals, and violence spilling into our country every week. And we have smugglers and traffickers profiting from human misery every single day by exploiting people who are seeking a better life, deceiving them about our laws and fueling everything from sexual slavery to child exploitation to the smuggling of illicit goods. Make no mistake, this chain of human misery is getting worse. Yesterday, we announced that the numbers of apprehension at our southern border have spiked again substantially. Since late last year, we have been seeing 50 to 60,000 migrants arrive at our southern border each month. But in February, we saw a 30% jump over the previous month with agents apprehending or encountering nearly 75,000 aliens. This is an 80% increase over the same time last year. And I report today that CBP is forecasting the problem will get even worse this spring as the weather warms up. The projections are dire. The agency is now on track to apprehend more migrants crossing illegally in the first six months of this fiscal year than the entirety of FY17. And at the current pace, we are on track to encounter close to 1 million illegal aliens at our southern border this year. Overwhelm the system entirely. This is not a manufactured crisis. This is truly an emergency. What's different about the current migrant flows, and this is important, is not just how many people are coming, but who is arriving. Historically, illegal aliens crossing into the United States were predominantly single adult males from Mexico with no legal right to stay, and who we could quickly detain and remove within 48 hours. But in recent years, we have seen the numbers of vulnerable populations, children and families, skyrocket. Over 60% of the current flow are family units and unaccompanied alien children, and 60% are non-Mexican. Because of outdated laws, misguided court decisions, and a massive backlog of cases, we are often forced to release these groups into the United States, and we have virtually no hope of removing them in the future. And importantly, our ability to help those truly in need is severely limited. The vast majority of these individuals are from Central America, while many of them initially claim asylum and are led into the United States, only one in 10 are ultimately granted asylum by an immigration judge. Unfortunately, when it comes time to remove the other 90%, they have often disappeared into the interior of our country. Smugglers and traffickers have caught on realizing that the outdated laws, lack of resources, and bad court decisions effectively give them a free ticket into America. Information about the weaknesses in our system has spread quickly in Central America. In fact, they are advertised. And our booming economy under President Trump has made the dangerous journey even more attractive to migrants. As a result, the flow of families and children has become a flood. In the past five years, we have seen a 620% increase in families, or those posing as families, apprehended at the border. This last fiscal year was the highest on record. 